Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Wednesdays with Winton. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Madeline Gardner, and we will have Winton Marsalis log on and join us here in just a couple of moments to answer all of your questions. So thank you for joining us again this week. And before Winton hops on, I just want to remind you all, I'm very excited that all of Jazz Lincoln Center has been working very hard. Winton has been working beyond very hard to get this gala ready. Tonight, if you tune in at uh, 7.30 Eastern time to our uh, gala tonight with a worldwide concert for our culture is going to be absolutely incredible. We have amazing artists from the all around the globe will be a uh, part of this. So it's gonna be a really special event. So I hope everyone can tune in. Once again, everyone for that's uh, just tuned in, my name is Madeline Gardner. I work for Jazz Lincoln Center and we will be having Winton joining us in just a moment. Joining us right now. All right now. Hi, Winston. How's it going? What's going on? What are we talking about, Maddie? Oh, you know, just this little gala we're having. Just Ooh. that we can spend a little bit of time on, maybe. If you can, if you can actually tell the people a little bit, a little background about the gala and how it came to be and what, what it takes to put on a virtual gala. Well, it started when, when uh, really very soon after we, we uh, were sequestered. You know, we, we've been working on it for three weeks really hard. It's called Worldwide Concert for Our Culture. And I was thinking we're all in different places. So what if we, what if we uh, talk to all the great musicians we've had a chance to play with all over the world and see what we can do to come together and play like we would do if we played over the telephone. And I started to call musicians. Uh, the Duzo Makatini from South Africa. And I was looking for certain type of musicians that are iconic in their culture. They've been playing for quite some time. A lot of them have, have, have schools, classes. Uh, they're deeply involved in their culture. Uh, Stefano De Battista from, from Italy, unbelievable soprano saxophone that TP sent in a WDR orchestra from Germany. Um, Chucho Valdez from Cuba. Um, Igor Bootman from, from, from Moscow. And a lot, we, we, a lot of us are really good friends for a long time. Like Igor, I went to his 50th ber birthday in the Kremlin, and I flew to that. I'm afraid to fly. So uh, we've known each other since we were in our 20s. Makoto Ozoni in Japan, he and my brother Branford went to college together. And Makoto has a great school full of students. Richard Galliano, we did recordings together. So just master uh, of, 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 uh, of the Bandonian. And, and he's just, uh, you know, he sent in a, a wonderful tape. Uh, and it was all tapes that we were doing now, things that we worked on uh, now. The Brussels Jazz Orchestra, we played with them. And uh, Frank Vangan Davis, my man, we we once again played with each other 30 years ago. In the jam session, we were we always laughing. We say, man, we we're 31 years old, 28 or something. Look at us now. We've been together for a very, very long time. Chano Dominguez, fantastic, great genius pianist from Spain, uh, invented a way of playing, of melding flamenco and jazz and, and actually fulfills the specifics of both um called 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 him and, and you can see just uh from the lineup the just the quality of the of, of the musicians and then the response from each of them was so so powerful hamilton jalanda from uh from brazil man what can you say when you hear him play and uh they, they started sending in tapes and talking about what, what we wanted we had three objectives which is one to say this music belongs to all of us. We've had, we had a lifetime of playing it and a, a, a career, a belief in teaching, teaching this music, jazz, uh, around the world, and that uh, we are part of an extended family because we see each other. We always feel great. Like you see a family, we always feel like we want to play with each other and we all have personal re relationships. Chucho, I can remember my father talking about Chucho in 1973 or 72. Said, man, some cats from Cuba who really can play. And then Chucho came to my... My, my apartment in 1996 and left me with a book of Montunos that he'd written, handwritten and said, learn these Montunos. And uh, he sent me just yesterday, we spoke, he sent me a, a, a picture of he and my father on the, on the bandstand like last year or something. It's one of the most soulful pictures of Chucho sitting there smiling. And uh, to, of our younger musicians, Cecile McLaurin Selvant, you know, and, and Sullivan Fortner is a piano player we call Church, Church Swing. And he and Cecile collaborate on a lot of things. 
I remember my father calling me about Sullivan saying, man, a little dude who's 11 years old just came to, to play behind some singers who were auditioning for high school. He said, man, we got another one who can play. And they nicknamed him Church Swing. And he's playing with Cecile, a, a fantastic track they did in, 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 their, in their, their apartment in Brooklyn of, of I Love You. And uh, everybody's at home, Bakar Abbas, genius of the flute from Pakistan. I was so soulful what he did. He played in the sentimental mood. His talking is unbelievable. It made me get full, really, to hear him talk. And then all of what he went through to play and his, his genius for playing. And he, uh, he put a little drone at the end and started playing on top of it, all just deeply soulful. And uh, uh, we have Veronica Swift and Camille Thurman sing on the first track. We did a composite track of the band playing. You know, we're all into it, kind of doing these, these things like everybody's doing online. And Todd Whitelock, our engineer, we send it in. Him. We try to do it all. We can't do it in real time because of the speed of our phones and all these different things. But we do play to the to the rhythm section, and we don't we're not we're not uh, mimicking. We're we're playing, and uh, our leads play. I always have to laugh because Ryan Kai's our lead, lead trumpet player. He always plays the same way. So when you hear this track of him on a cell phone yeah. playing, like he's the first voice to, to record it. So it's like only the drums and then him, and then later Sherman and Vince fill the lead parts in, and then the rest of us put the rest of our parts in. And Veronica and Camille just sing, and uh, and, and Veronica does a, a, a vocalese chorus, unbelievable. She grew up oh. in that tradition, so I could go on and on, you know. And just people talking and hearing all the musicians talk about their country and, and the and the culture, and and what it's about. And it's, it's songs that people know, like uh, the WDR Orchestra sent in, you know, Dave Brubeck's Take Five. And they had a really produced tape because this was before the, they weren't locked down. And they talk about the significance of Dave Brubeck to the tour that he gave in uh, in Germany. And um, and Deduzo talked about A Love Supreme. And just to hear them singing A Love Supreme in that kind of South African voice is, is, is deeply moving. And uh, like just to see just to see Chano playing Well You Needn' because it goes up a half step like what you hear in a lot of, lot of, lot of flamenco music. Mm. And him in a, just in an apartment with an electric piano. I could go on and on, you know. It's it's you know, it, it it's soulful. We have great hosts. Glenn Co Glenn Close is one of our hosts that introduce songs, and uh, some of our younger musicians. Alexa Tarantino, fantastic younger young lady, plays alto saxophone. Started a jazz camp. Is so unbelievably competent on so many levels, not just as a musician but an administrator. And uh, you know, I, I know I see, I see you looking bored, Maddie. I'm just going on and on. I, Bored. So I could never about, be bored by this. I was looking at all the comments coming in. You know, and I, I think also our guardian angel is on it. Uh, uh, Diane Reeves played played for us mm -hmm. so many times. Invited us to our home, cooked a meal for our entire orchestra. Sat in our trumpet section at a live concert in Denver, maybe ten, fifteen years ago. Has played our hall thirty times or something. Is is always there for every benefit. Anytime we need her to do something, she is always. She makes. She always answers the call. Uh, she has sung with us, gone on tour with us, made rec recordings with us, and we just absolutely love her. She's sending a beautiful track of Smile, Though Your Heart Is Breaking, with uh, Peter Martin, who was online with us on Skane's Domain the other night, who I met when he was a kid in St. Louis, and Homero Labombo, fantastic Brazilian get uh, guitarist. I was writing a, a symphony, and I needed to really know. I wrote some Brazilian section I called Homero. I said, can you listen to this section? And, and, and you said, no, man, I'll come to your house, you know, because I'm going to be in your area. And he, he sat out, and when I played him what I wrote, he said, you know, yeah, very good, good American uh, Brazilian music, but all on the wrong beat. <laughs> so he went through the whole thing for me and showed me how to, what the beats are, what it should be. You know, and, uh, Romero, also a fantastic composer. I mean, just everything, a range of players, just a, a, and just a, the, the, the heart and soul of the man. And, and I'll be honest, when I looked at the first, uh, takes of it before we put it all together in the show just to hear everybody's voice and the way they talk with the type of humanity they talk with. Oh, Igor Bookman, you know, in, in his rehearsal space, talking about the song he loved, played Mac the Knife. It, 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 you know, it, it's moving, actually. It sounds incredibly moving, and what a beautiful and important time to, in a, in a way, to make people feel together when we're all so separate. Yeah, you know, I think it's really a genuine moment because everybody... Uh, even I didn't even speak with Chucho. We sent a message. I thought he was not going to send in a tape. He sent one. Richard Galliano, I didn't get a chance to talk with him. He sent in something. And it's, it's genuine. Like, we, we all know each other. We love each other. We have been around each other. 
Makoto, I called in to, to, today this morning. He was he was doing his piano live that he does. And he and my brother went to Berkeley and he started to talk about the fact that my father and his father were born in the same year. And his father passed away uh, a year or so ago, two, two, close to two years ago. And uh, we, we were reflecting on he, what he learned about the music from his father. His father's also a musician. And uh, across the, the all the way across the world, you know, the same kind of time span if we think about our fathers. And we started to talk about another friend of ours, Kango Nakamura, a great bassist that we recorded an album called Live at the House of Tribes with him. And I say, Kango's father, every time I see him over 15 or 20 years, Kango's father brings me some, uh, some, some of that good sake. So I talked about a great Ita party we had a long years ago in my apartment with, with uh, Italian food and with, with, with sushi. And Kango's father was there, you know, and uh, so it's all those kind of, all those kind of memories, you know, that we, that we have across the world. And uh, when we speak with each other, that's, that's what we talk about, you know? Oh, that's so beautiful. That sounds amazing. A party with sushi and also, that sounds great. You know, good Italian, Italian food. food. Sushi, sake. Oof. Yeah, that's you know, a, we argue about who's, yeah, we crazy arguing about whose food is the best. You know, I, I'm oh. from New Orleans. We just, we just have a good time talking, playing music. And uh, now it's, it's even more because we, we're isolated musicians. We don't have a chance to play for people. Right. And when we talk with each other, everybody that I talk to says, man, when this is over, let's, Stefano, we haven't played or talked, we talked in a long time. And uh, Dado, uh, the, 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 the Brussels Jazz Orchestra sent in a piece that uh, was, was for Dado Moroni, is an unbelievable uh, Italian pianist that I played gigs with also 30 years ago. I have lost touch with Dado as my man. And, and their piece was, was, a, was an homage to Dado, but the piece was too long, so we got another piece from them. And uh, I was talking to Stefano, and we said, man, when we get out of this, we got to. So mm -hmm. Channel 2, all of us are saying, man, we're going to do this. We're going to collaborate. We're going to do this kind of thing. Now, you watch. When we get out, we're going to do a lot, of, a lot of interesting things. We're going to come together. Well, I'm excited for that. I know everyone in the comments is incredibly excited about it, too. And they all say thank you so much about everyone's going to tune in tonight and very excited. Oh, and they, we have some people asking, what can we look forward to hearing the JLCO play tonight? We played a new arrangement that uh, Rich DeRosa did. You know, Rich is our man, fans one of the great arrangers uh, in the world right now, of Yardbird Suite. And that's the one that's going to feature Camille Thurman singing and also Veronica Swift singing. And they're singing the, whew, they're singing it. And we also have a blues that we've done. We, we started working on it two weeks ago. And it's, it's called uh, the Collaboratory Blues. We sent it around the band. I, I, I wrote the first chorus. And I sent it to Victor, and Victor sent it to Ted. And we went around the band like that, each one of us developing on that first chorus. And then we went back, and each of us arranged our chorus. And then we started to layer the recording. And that's going to come out later this week. But I, I'm sure nothing like that has ever been done. Like for, for, Even for us, we laughed at how consistent it all was because the arranging voices are so different. Of course, Carlos made his be a mambo. Then he's going to accuse me of putting him in the ghetto. But you know, every time I give him an option of what he does, sure enough, it comes a mambo. And uh, everybody wrote in their style. Vince, of course, gave us something impossible to play on the trumpets and, and modulate it, and uh, so on and so forth. So we're going to have that that come out. And that, that's uh, very interesting. Oh, that's so exciting. I love everyone puts their own flair, but it has to, you know, it, it really comes together in the end. Yeah, everybody has their own thing. You know, Paul Nitzella, some of our... Our members who don't arrange as much did a great job on their, their arrangement. They only have a chorus to arrange. Mm -hmm. um, Camille did a, a new one, Impossible to Play Trumpet Parts, that she wrote. This is the first time she actually has arranged for the band. Dan Nimmer wrote a nice nice kind of soulful swinging um, arrangement a, a, a section that he, he put in there. Walter does like he always does. He has a lot of dynamics in his. Now, we all played in the cell phone, so it's kind of funny. We have stuff going fortissimo to piano. It's a lot of funny. We send it into our engineer, Todd Whitelock. And Todd is, uh, we've worked, I've known Todd since the 1980s. Mm. As a matter of fact, and, and then after 9-11, we, we were in Los Angeles recording a piece uh, entitled All Rise, the first symphony that I wrote. And we couldn't get the engineers, we were due to record it. We couldn't get the engineers, there was no flying. Todd drove from Detroit to Los Angeles mm. to record that piece. And we recorded, and we still had to get overtime from the orchestra. Everything was... He and Steve Epstein, great phenomenal producer, came from New York, flew in, flew into Kansas City. Steve did. Todd drove from Detroit, and we're still working together. So Todd and I always always argue about how much how much uh, power should the engineer have. I hate all this recording in booths and giving the engineers all the power. 
and the musicians don't play in balance and we don't feel each other. So for years, 20, 30 years, we've been arguing about the engineer of the power. So when I heard the first collaboratory blues, we, we're all on our cell phones playing in different environments. I told Todd, I was like, man, this sounds a lot better than I, than I thought it would sound. It's a trip. He said, you see what happens when you give the engineer the type of control that they need? <laughs> so, you know, we still, even in all of this, you know, we all have different personal circumstances and things we're dealing with. But we still have our, our humor. We still joke and, and, and laugh and, you know, play with each other. And... Well, it's so important to keep that. You got you got to keep that, you know, to keep yourself safe. Yeah. And for everyone that's just tuning in now, I want to let everyone know we're talking today about the gala tonight, 730 Eastern time. You can go to jazz.org to find out how to tune in. It's going to be an incredible evening with artists all over the world, all coming together to play music and to show their culture and so show how all of our cultures are kind of intertwined and can be even more feeling so separate. Oh, so we have, oh, we have another question. You have done so many collaborations with so many artists. What are some of your favorite collaborations that you've done? Oh, I love so many of them. You know, from a personal standpoint, I think Yakub Adi and Odada, I learned a lot from him. Old a master drummer from Ghana. He's passed away now, but Yakub was so full of information. He told me one time, this is a royal rhythm, brother. I said, it don't sound royal to me. I'm from New Orleans. That is why you will never play it correctly. So he had like a lot of things he would say that I love. And I loved, uh, you know, I loved uh, Eric Clapton. He said, mm -hmm. Eric Clapton sent me a whole blues list and a listening list of all classic blues, all of which he knew and said, can you make it sound like King Oliver's band meets a blues band from Mississippi? And the list he went through to play and the way he knew the music and we start to talk about turnarounds in the music and the seriousness of, of his scholarship. Um, I love, in a, a, I mean, it's, it's with the list of, of, of just P uh, Pedrito Martinez mm. and Chucho Valdez. When we did this piece called Ochas, Pedrito took me to school on just the rhythms and the bata drums. And, oh man, it was, it was just, it was just unbelievably fulfilling. Uh, the New York Philharmonic, when I wrote All Rise in Kurt Mazur, kind of just breaking down for me things about being in, in East Germany and he wanted the piece to deal with integration and his question to me at that time maybe 1998 99 we started to have those conversations he said what happened to the strain of Gershwin and Bernstein and people trying to actually come together and America is so segregated and he said I come from East Germany and I grew up in in the Germany of Hitler youth he said and let me tell you one thing to be aware of is that the, the line of civilization is very thin and people will, will sink down in the uh, barbarism. You have to always fight for humanity. And I remember Kurt Mazur approaching me to write a piece for the New York Philharmonic before I had even written Blood on the Fields or anything for a big band. I thought he was crazy. I was 28 or 27 years old at that time. I thought, man, what are you talking about? I never, I've never even written for a big band. I'm about to write for an orchestra. So every time I would see him on the campus of Lincoln Center, he would call me friend. Are you still afraid to write for the New York Philharmonic? So it made me mad, you know, and he would keep doing that. So I figured it took me 10 years to really kind of figure out how I could apply what I knew about music to orchestration for an orchestra. So many great ca collaborations with Chano and the Flamenco Jazz Ensemble. Unbelievable uh, that we did. Ted Nash's piece that we did with the uh, Museum of Modern Art, the, the Portrait in Seven Shades. That was, that was a great spaces, animal kind of dances we did with Jared Grimes uh, and with Lil Buck. Mm -hmm. I, I could, I could, we've done so many, I could go on and on. And Willie Nelson, you know, Texas, Louisiana. I love Willie. Willie is so, I mean, so unbelievably soulful. I actually saw Willie on the road and he said, man, they're going to have Ray's, uh, when Ray Charles died, he said, they're going to have Ray Charles's funeral. You want to come with me? I went to the funeral with Willie. And uh, Willie, you know, just, just, I mean, Willie is, the way people love him, you have to be around him so you understand. Then, ironically, we had a gig in uh, at the Hollywood Bowl maybe a, a month or a month, a month and a half after that, and Natalie Cole was supposed to sing with us, and, we, and it, at the last minute, she couldn't do it. She, she, she had a, a, a health issue, I think, or something happened, and we didn't have anybody to sing. So we, at the last minute, we had seen Willie's bus. We said, let's call Willie. <laughs> we called Willie. You know, Willie came and did that gig. <laughs> we wrote a couple of quick arrangements, and Willie came out and played with us in the Hollywood Bowl. So that is many, incredible. you know, yeah, yeah, I could go on and on, things like that. With, with of course, with so many jazz musicians too. I mean, it's yeah. for me, it's been a been been a blessing the whole time. To, to all the Alvin Ailey, great, we did sweet sweet release with the great Judith Jameson. Oh, I could just 
for, for the Olympics, that's 96. That was also a fantastic experience wow. for us. On and and I know a lot of these collaborations are on United We Swing. I know Willie's is, and so is Eric Clapton's and Blue Engine, you should, right. which you can stream at home right now. United We right. Swing is one of my favorite Blue Engine albums, personally. Oh, yeah, that's great. great. Every, everybody, you know, Derek Trucks. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's been a blessing to play with so many great musicians and so many different. And so many yeah. different uh, genres, genres and ways, and to learn a lot. I always tell Carlos, I'm gonna have to pay him for all the lessons he's given me in my in my in my clave. And he said, "Well, pay me after you've learned some of it." <laughs> Man, these people! I, I love all, all the wise the wise cracking going on. Yeah, you know we're always joking with each other. You know, I talked with Chano. He sent me a blues already. I, I, I sent him a flamenco. I was listening to. I said, "Chano, you know what? What is this?" He said, "Oh, it's a combination of a, of a." Of, of a bullerias and, and, and something else he told me. And, and he said, it's, it's a combination. That's why you couldn't hear it. I was trying to hear what the cycle was, and I couldn't. And I said, well, we, could, could you send me like some blues? He said, I was working on some blues. It's to teach you how to hear, you know, cigarillas and all the different forms in the context of jazz. And he sent me my first one already. I got to get into it. Wow. Incredible. Everyone, yeah. we have a lot of thank you for sharing. Everyone loved that story, especially that story about Willie and the lap. Those are so oh, yeah. fun. It was the last minute and it's amazing shows that how amazing you know artists and musicians you all are to be able to, to jump in and oh we have and yeah. speaking of great musicians you had dg bridgewater and chick korea on your show this monday night in skane's domain every monday night at 9 p.m eastern time mm -hmm. um how did you enjoy that conversation you talked all about music good reviews bad reviews and i i love it i think for me it gives people a chance to see different generations a lot of times i'm in conversations where i'm amongst the older now I was younger when DD said, well, 1970, how old were you then, Wenton? But I love it. You know, I love Chick. It's it just you have personal relationships with people for, for long periods of time. I loved hearing DD and Chick talk about recording sessions they were on in 1971. Mm. Because when you have that kind of, what happens with age is you have track records with people that you know. It's like Igor Bootman and I met in the early 1990s, late 1980s. So by the time you get to 2020, We've been friends for a long, long time. We have a, a kind of depth to our relationship. So to hear Dee Dee and Chick talk about, you know, the stories of Horace Silva and different people and her with Betty Carter and how they knew each other. Yeah, I love, I loved it. I loved it. Fantastic. And these, uh, a lot of people are saying Monday night was great. Everyone tuned into that as well. So that everyone wants to thank you again for, for doing these Monday night's games domains and these thank you. as well. Thank okay. you. We're going to do some other ones. We're going to do, we're going to get, get Hamilton up here to talk about some, uh, some Choro, and we're gonna we we'll get maybe try to get a knot coin or get get Victor talk about Choro and ragtime or you know we just try to tell stories and stuff. We're talking to Makoto. We're gonna get him to talking about similarities of culture and all this different type of stuff. Amazing. Well, thank you for for doing that. I want to have a little roll call of all the countries representing on this Instagram right now. We have people from Argentina, Brazil, Chile, South Africa, Greece, Poland, Switzerland, Japan, Portugal, UK. Turkey and the Netherlands, and I'm sure I forgot some too. Help, thank you everyone for tuning in. I mean, what thank a beautiful you. way to, to roll into tonight, tonight's, you know, culture, everyone from, from all over the world tuning in as well, so. Yeah, thank you. So, you know, a lot of great times in those, in those countries. Argentina, the great Fats Fernandez, trumpet player, oh my God, it's the theater, the Grand Rex Theater. Chile, we played Amnesty International in 1990, 1991, in a big stadium of people singing a blues with us simultaneous. I don't know anything like that happened. 90 something thousand people. It was in my entire time of playing. I never experienced anything like that. But we start playing a song at Wycliffe Gordon, the great pine cone, mm. played a phrase in his solo that reminded people of something that they sang at soccer matches. And they sang some real long tune that fit exactly over the form of a blues. And we were all looking around like, damn, man, is this, is this, because normally a group of people just go away or, or something like that. This was an intricate song, and it's up online somewhere, Amnesty International, 1991, Chile. And we, we, we came back years later, and I saw a lot of people who said they were there in the stadium that night. Uh, we were in Chile maybe two or three years ago, and it, it still was something that they remembered. So I, I always, when I hear the name of uh, Chile, I think about that experience. And, you know, wow. on and on, the countries you name, it just, you know, the Netherlands, of course, you know, so on and on. Amazing. We have... We have the time for about one more, one or two more questions from everyone. So keep on asking down there. Thank you everyone for tuning in. 
So we have, oh, we have How Can I Tune Into Tonight's Concert, which is a great question I can, I can answer very quickly right now. If you just go to jazz.org, you could find out all the different ways, jazz.org slash gala 2020. It's going to be on Facebook, YouTube, live stream, all, all over the internet tonight. So please tune into that. Tune in. Also tune in. And when you tune in, if you, if you hear musicians you like, figure out how to support them. Mm. Because everybody is, uh, everybody's struggling. That's, yeah, it, this is the time to, to support musicians. And we're going to see an array of musicians that are supporting, supporting each other, too, which is, which is so beautiful, that, that family aspect during this time. Yeah, and another thing to realize about musicians, sometimes you might see a musician that's known, a musician can make a little better living uh, than they made when they were growing up. But, but realize a, a lot of times for the musicians, they're supporting a lot of infrastructure, a lot of people, uh, for families. I mean, everybody is struggling at this point, so it's hard to, to ask people for things but for those who are in a little better condition than they think they could be in look out for look out for people not 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 it doesn't even have to be us it's just in general help your neighbor up you know it'll, it'll come back help your neighbor and we have we're gonna we're end with this quickly before I'll, I'll give you give you the last couple minutes here to to uh say any parting words but tonight sounds like it'll be a party what's your favorite party song <laughs> I played in the funk band in high school, so I, I don't know. I, I don't know anything that, anything that gets you to, from where you are to where you want to be. <laughs> Love that. You'll be different things at different times, you know. <laughs> and it probably may be a good, like, Stevie Wonder tune. <laughs> it, it was plenty of them back in the day, you know. Plenty of them, Parliament, Funkadelic. And then, now it's, you know, a lot of, it's whole, a lot of different stuff. But it all has the same kind of spirit and vibe. The objective is still the same. Yep. <laughs> I love that. Well, I think that's what I think tonight, everyone involved will get everyone where, where they need to be, whether it's dancing, mentally happy, making yeah. you feel that warm feeling inside that maybe some people have been missing since all this. Well, yeah, this, this, yeah, this is a spiritual thing. You know, it's more, uh, it's a good time. We joke, we tell the stories, but this is a spiritual thing. Family, people playing and the musicians, they're very reflective because they, but they're playing and they also, uh, you know, it's substantive. So so you'll see what, 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 I mean, people, people, I always hate looking at myself. So some sections where I'm talking, I'm gonna apologize to y'all now. But I think uh, we see a wide range of people and they're all people in our family. Like the people who are talking, Catherine Russell introduces some of the songs that's in our family. Her father actually led a, the, a, led a big band for Louis Armstrong. So we see how, how close our culture and our tradition is and our mother was unbelievable Colleen Ray musicologist teacher guitar bass international sweethearts of rhythm and 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 and, and Catherine just what she brings to stuff the type of effervescence and the, just the, 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 the vibe and uh, it, uh yeah you see you're gonna see a, a, a range of people who are in our family fantastic and I want to and we're going to close out by saying, you know, thank you everyone so much for tuning in to Wednesdays with Winton. We'll be doing this again next week. And as well as uh, every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern uh, time, you can check out Skane's Domain with Winton and special guests uh, on Zoom and also on Jazz Lincoln Center Facebook Live. And tonight at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, please tune in to our gala the worldwide concert for our culture. It's going to be a really special evening. And Winton, I will leave it this up to you. The last, last couple of words you'd like to say and lead everyone out with. Yeah, I mean, it's just good to see you, man. You know, everybody. Good to see you, too. you know, thank y'all for everything. Thank you for uh, all your your well wishes. Check it out and see where where people around the world are coming from. And know that uh, these are not just people we call. Like we 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 really truly know each other and love each other. And that's going to come through in the in the in the in the gala. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Winston. We hope we all see you tonight at the gala. You can tune in at jazz.org slash uh, gala2020. Or just go to jazz.org or Facebook Live, and, and we'll see you there. Thanks, Winston. See you later. Right. Thank you. All right. Yep.